This video will compare the usability and ease of use between the Mirth Connect and Cuvera interface engines. Our objective will be to create a simple interface with two mappings. One, moving the patient's ID from one field to another, and two, reformatting the patient's date and time of birth. As you can see in Mirth, this takes 30 steps to complete, and in QIE, only 15 steps are required. We will now demonstrate the setup of both of these interfaces in QIE and in MIRTH. In MIRTH, we will create a new channel and give it a name. Then we will specify the inbound directory. And a file name and extension. We will also configure it to delete the message after it picks it up. In the outbound, we'll specify a directory to put the output file to. And a file name. We'll now do the transformations. First transformation that we need to do is to copy the inbound message to the outbound variable. We'll now add a new step to copy the patient's ID. Now we'll need to get a sample message to perform this mapping. I can now come and copy the patient's ID from PID2 to PID4 in my output message. The next mapping will be to reformat the patient's date and time of birth. I'll need to do some JavaScript code in order to perform this step. We'll be getting the date from the inbound message from PID 7. And now we will be putting it back into the outbound message in the same field, but with the reformatted date and time. Now go back to the channel and we will take that transformed message as our output. We can save the channel, deploy the changes, and now we will need to run a message through the channel in order to test the mappings. I will take this sample message, put it into the inbound directory. Mirth will pick up and process the message and put it into the outbound directory. We can now open it up in a text editor and verify our changes. In this particular case, we took the patient's ID from PID2 and put it into PID4, and we reformatted the patient's date and time of birth. We'll now demonstrate these changes in QIE. We'll create a new channel. We'll specify the directory and file format of where we'll get the file from. Sample message. And within QIE, we can just go import a file. We'll take that sample message, import it. 
we'll specify the output directory. We'll now perform the two mappings. The first mapping will be to take the patient's ID from PID2. I just simply click into the PID2 field and copy that to the output message in PID4. The next mapping will be to do a date and time formatting. We'll take the patient's date and time from the input message we will reformat it into the year, 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 month, month, day, day format and put it back into the outbound message in the same field. Within QIE I can test these mappings by simply going to the testing window and I will see the before and the after. After having tested and verified these changes I can save the channel, start it. We'll now take the same sample message Put it into the inbound directory. QIE will pick up and process the message. And we can now verify that these changes have taken place within QIE. We have message history here. This is the source message, and this is the transformed version of the message. Thank you for watching.